Tori here with ToriToth.com, the place to be to create a home buyers will find irresistible. Well, today I took a ride to one of my favorite stores um, and a store that I love to use when I'm about to go stage a home and dun da 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 home goods. So I felt like doing a home goods haul. So I'm going to show you just what you can find in home goods here in America. And I believe it's home sense up there in Canada, but there are great finds, you know, for affordable prices and you can really enhance the style of your home. So I'm going to show you some things I found in the aisles as well as some things I brought home. They have lots of name brands here, look, DKNY, Tommy Bahama, you know, even Ralph Lauren. First up, I want to talk about all the perfect bedding that they have over in Home Goods. Now, I needed a new um, mattress pad, so we picked one up. It's right here. As you can see, Ralph Lauren, you know, it's a really good name. Uh, it's nice and squishy inside. And this is a queen and it's 60 bucks that we purchased it for. Uh, and it's usually retailed at about $100. So we were able to save $40 and now have a comfy night's sleep. Now to go along with this mattress pad, we bought two more pillows and they're so nice squishy. I love soft pillows um, and these were two for 30 and they usually go for $50. So these are a great deal. So besides the bedding, I decided that I wanted to find a few key pieces um, for this upcoming season, which is going to be spring. Uh, we celebrate Easter. So I wanted to see if I could find a few pieces to display in my living room uh, during this season. And I did find a couple. I found this silver little rabbit. He's pretty cute, right? He almost looks like a rabbit. He is a rabbit, and we got him for $15. And he's really heavy, but um, you know, you could put him on some books. Uh, you could stand him alone just on the shelf. You could put him next to some flowers. So this is a cute little, you know, accessory to have for Easter. Um, along with the rabbit, they also had tons of eggs. And this one was in actually in a color, which kind of goes with our decor now. Um, but they have bigger ones, they had smaller ones, and they had just, you know, all silver ones with some type of um, detailing on it. And this was $13, come on. And, you know, it'll just sit there on the shelf and bring in the joy of the holiday. Now, I always, whenever I'm going to Home Goods, I always go and uh, pick up some of these and they're little hand towels for your uh, kitchen. So this one has rabbits and some ducks on it for the holidays. Uh, this was three bucks. You can't go wrong with that. And then even if you just want to get rid of it after the fact, you can. Um, and then I bought some ones that will be accompanying that on my stove. And I like the little tassels on it, so I figured they'd look good side by side together on uh, the rod of my stove. Now, I've lately been hosting Easter dinner, so I saw this cool little basket. It, it kind of reminds me of a wicker basket. It, it is made out of a ceramic, ceramic, right? Yeah ceramic. It's a hand-woven ceramic basket. And these are pretty, um, these would be pretty expensive if you go to a department store or something like that. But we got this one for only $13. And they had a larger one and they also had a smaller one. But I figured I'd probably use this one for Easter. Um, but it's not very decorative so we could use it all summer, uh, all year long actually. Uh, and put, you know, maybe some bread in there or um, maybe some cookies or other nice treats and you know you wrap them up in a little napkin and then put them on your table so I thought that was pretty cool and then when we're not using it just kind of store it in a place and it would sit in the kitchen as a decorative piece and of course we got four white plates um, we actually have this 
style plate in a larger dinner plate um, in gray and we got them from West Elm and they were pretty expensive but we just purchased these because I know that they match and they'll look pretty and Sal uh, broke a couple of our smaller plates lately but these were three dollars each so that not bad deal and we got four of them now another thing that I love in home goods is buying these wood cutting boards and um, they're cheap so if you know you start using them and then they get ruined you could always just toss it and get a new one and you don't really feel bad about it you know this one is $17 and it's from Mario Batali you know so that's a pretty well brand name um, so you know you're getting some quality out of this and it's pretty cute. I like it and Sal's gonna make a lot of good meals with this thing. Now we have Easter coming up but we of course live by the water and so after the spring decor we're gonna start moving the summer decor in and I love decorating for summer. Um, I'm trying to make my home feel a little bit more beachy and so I found a couple of things and I love loved so I had to get them this thing is freaking gorgeous right and it, it looks like a real shell you know and it's got the shape like a shell and this was this was our priciest item um, that you know it was a splurge we really didn't need this but it's just so cool and it's such a cool piece to have. You could put it on your coffee table, you could put it on a shelf. Um, you could actually put some stuff inside of it. Maybe those uh, decorative balls. Um, it was $60, you know, $60 compared to a hundred when it's in department stores and stuff like that. But this is a great piece. It's from, um, it was made in Italy. It's from Murano and these are the types of pieces that you'll find in home goods too. These, these one of a kind type of treasures, you know, maybe they only have a, a 10 hanging around the store and then that's it, you know. So I had to pick this up because I probably won't see it again and I wanna make sure that, that it's out during the summer. Another thing that I always look for when I'm here in home goods is the wreaths because they always have different ones depending on the season. This is another one of my favorite places in this store. They always have so many great framed art or just artwork that you can hang up on your walls. Beach, real cool. They have stuff for every room of your house and it's pretty generic. Like you could hang this in the entryway of a home. Um, this might be for a little kid's room. And then look at how big some of these clocks are. Like these are big pictures and they're reasonably priced. Now I found one other thing that I liked and I could have probably, you know, made this myself, but who has time these days, right? But I just wanted to show you, take me to the ocean. I cannot wait. Do you see that? There's a lot of glare there. It says, take me to the ocean. Um, and you can either hang this with a bunch of other photos, you know, maybe some photos that you actually took of yourself at the beach. Uh, so you can make it a collage on your wall. Um, you could just hang it, uh, not hang it, but you could sit it on top of a shelf and maybe stack a few other pictures around it. So um, it's great, it's versatile, it's generic enough, but it also has some meaning to it. And it's white, so it'll, you know, it'll always stay in season. Now, um, we did get bags, and I don't know, I'll just show you these because I, I like them and I love getting these when I'm at Home Goods or, or even TJ Maxx. They're 99 cents and um, they're great to come home with all of your stuff um, or, you know, just lug 
really anything around. They're pretty durable. I used to use these a lot in my stagings when I had to carry all the accessories up and down. So these are pretty good. I would definitely recommend purchasing those for a dollar. Now, what is a home goods haul without decorative pillows? Now, right now we have some Valentine's Day pillows up on our um, sofa, but we have to get rid of those because Valentine's Day is obviously over. And I found this pillow and it's so cool, you know, it's just got this shaggy little looking on, look on it. It's aqua or turquoise, however, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just fun, you know, it's got, it's got a little pizzazz to it. Now this one is white, but it's got the gold in it. And I figured it'll really bring out a lot of the gold accents that are in our living room. Now this one's from Donna Karen, you know, I mean, so you're getting good quality brands at home goods and it usually goes for $165, but we got it for 40 bucks, right? So it's not bad and it's a pretty decent sized pillow. And does it have, a, yes, it also has a zipper, which whenever you're buying pillows, you definitely wanna try and get a zipper, especially if you have animals, you know, Coco loves pillows. So um, they get pretty hairy. So it's great when you can just peel off the pillow cover throw that in the washer and then put it back on. So that was my pillow splurge. These are the pillows that you'll see in my house um, probably till the end of spring. We kind of went to Home Goods for <laughs> for this, a bath mat, and we came home with about $300 worth of stuff. And uh, you could do that at Home Goods. So make sure that you spend carefully and really consider what you need before you go there. I would definitely suggest uh, having a list. But this is a bath mat, you know, it's, it's nice, it's plush. And it, these are durable. I've had these many times in my stagings and also in my house. And it's, it was only $13 and it's the bigger one too, you know, it's that bigger size and it was still only $13. You're not going to find that in Target. You're not going to find that in any department store. And this is department store quality for sure. So home goods, be happy. I'm pretty happy. I'm happy with the purchases that we made here at home goods. And, um, I can't wait to have them put all around my home. You know, we we're able to buy for the bedroom the bathroom, the living room, the kitchen for, you know, a little bit under $300. So we bought a lot of stuff um, and I'm excited to put it out there. You know, let me know what you thought about this video. What other hauls would you like me to go and do so I can show you what's out there, what type of decor is out there, what type of things you should be looking for. Make sure to comment below and let me know what other store hauls you'd like me to uh, to consider for a video and of course for more home staging tips to get you one step closer to the closing table be sure to visit our website at www.toritope.com until next time happy selling mm -hmm.